ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا فمن يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان صدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اخوه الكرام واخوات السيدات السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته يا عباد الله فان القران كلام الله تعالى وهو حبله المتين وصراطه المستقيم فمن تمسك به اهتدى ومن اعرض عنه ضل وهوى اثنى الله عليه في مواعد كثيره منه ليبين فضله ويوضح للناس مكانته ومنزلته قال تعالى ان جعلناه قرانا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون وانه في ام الكتاب لدينا لعلي حكيم وقال تعالى ان الذين كفروا بالذكر لما جاءهم وانه لكتاب عزيز لا ياتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه ولا من خلفه تنزيل من حكيم حميد فمن باطل يا عباد الله الا وفي القران ما يدمغه ولا شبهه الا وفي وفي بيان ببطلانها قال تعالى ولا ياتونك بمثل الا جئناك بالحق واحسن تفسيرا وقال تعالى بل نقذف بالحق على الباطل فيضمغه فاذا هو زاهق ولكم الويل مما تصفون وقال تعالى يا ايها الناس قد جاءتكم موعظه من ربكم وشفاء لما في الصدور وشفاء لما في الصدور وهدى ورحمه للمؤمنين اعجب به الجن لما سمعوه فامنوا به واتبعوه قال تعالى قل اوحي الي انه استمع نفر من الجن فقالوا انا سمعنا قرانا عجبا يهدي الى الرشد فامنا به ولم نشرك بربنا احدا تكفر الله سبحانه وتعالى يا عباد الله بحفظه واعجز الخلق ان ياتوا بمثله قال تعالى ان نحن نزلنا الذكر وان له لحافظون وقال تعالى قل لئن اجتمعت الانس والجن على ان ياتوا بمثل هذا القران لا ياتون بمثله ولو كان بعضهم لبعض ظهيرا وقد رواه مسلم في صحيح من حديث عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه ان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ان الله يرفع بهذا الكتاب اقواما ويضع به اخرين واخبر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يا عباد الله اخبر 
بما لقال القرآن من حسنات فقد رواه الترمذي في سننه من حديث عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله عنه قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من قرأ حرفا من كتاب الله فله به حسنة والحسنة بعشر أمثالها لا أقول ألف لامين حرف ولكن ألف حرف ولام حرف ومين حرف ويوم القيامة يا عباد الله ويوم القيامة تتجلى هذه الفضائل لقارئ القرآن فيشفع لقارئه ويعلو به في مراتب الجنة على قدر قراءته فقد رواه مسلم في الصحيح من حديث أبي أمامة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اقرأ القرآن فإنه يأتي يوم القيامة شفيعا لأصحابه وقد رواه الترمذي في سننه من حديث عبد الله بن عم رضي الله عنهما قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقال لصاحب القرآن اقرأ وارتقي ورتل كما كنت ترتل في الدنيا فإن منزلتك عند آخر آية تقرأ بها ومن العجب يا عباد الله أن الكثيرين منا بعد هذه الفضائل كلها يترك القرآن مع أن رمضان يعني يكون من خلال تقريبا أسبوعين فعليك يا عباد الله بقراءة آياته وتدبر أحكامه وتطبيق أحكامه في حياتكم اليومية أقول قولي هذا واستغفروا لي ولكم فاستغفروه وتوبوا إليه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد Brothers and sisters, with the month of Ramadan fast approaching, maybe two weeks or less away from us, the month of the Quran, it is only right that we remind each other, that we remind one another about the importance of reading it, contemplating its meanings, but not only that, but also applying its ahkam, its rulings, in our daily lives. Brothers and sisters, the Quran, as we all know, is the literal word of God, the literal word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In it, you're gonna find guidance to the straight path. Whoever holds on firmly to it will be guided. And whoever turns its back on it will be astray and will be lost. Allah has praised his Quran in many places within it to show its blessings and make clear to mankind its high place and status. Allah says in the Quran, Inna ja'annahu Quranan Arabiyan la'allahum ta'qilun. Indeed, we have made it an Arabic Quran that you might understand. Wa innahu fi ummin kitab ladayna la'aliyun hakim. And indeed, indeed, it is in the mother of the book with us, exalted and full of wisdom. Allah says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِذِكْرِ لَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ وَإِنَّهُ لَكِتَابٌ عَزِيزٌ Indeed, those who disbelieve in a message after it has come to them, and indeed, it is a mighty book. It is a mighty book. Allah described it. Allah says, لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه. Falsehood cannot approach it from before it. ولا من خلفه. Nor from behind it. تنزيل من حكيم حميد. A revelation from a Lord who is حكيم حميد, who is wise and praiseworthy. There is no falsehood, brothers and sisters, other than the Quran destroys it. And there is no doubtful matter other than the Quran clarifies it. Allah says, وَلَا يَأْتُونَكَ بِمَثَلٍ إِلَّا جِئْنَاكَ بِالْحَقِّ وَأَحْسَنَ تَفْسِيرًا And they do not come to you with an argument except 
that we bring you the truth and the best explanation. Allah says, بَلْ نَقْذِفُ بِالْحَقِّ عَلَى الْبَاطِنِ Rather, we dash the truth upon falsehood. فَيَذْمَرُهُ فَإِذَا هُوَ زَاهِقُ And it destroys it, and thereupon it departs. وَلَكُمُ الْوَيْلُ مِمَّا تُصِفُونَ And for you is destruction from that which you describe. Brothers and sisters, Allah has described the Qur'an as a light and a healing for mankind. He says, and thus we have revealed to you an inspiration of our command. You did not know what is the book or what is faith. But we have made it a light by which we guide whom we will of our servants. And indeed, O Muhammad, you guide, O Muhammad, to the straight path. Allah says further, يا أيها الناس قد جاءتكم موعظة من ربكم وشفاء لما في الصدور. O mankind, there has come to you an instruction from your Lord and a healing for what is in the breast. وهدى ورحمة للمؤمنين and a guidance and a mercy for the believers. That's the Quran for you, brothers and sisters. Even the jinn, even the jinn were amazed when they first heard it, believing in it immediately and following its commands. Allah says, قُلْ أُوْحِيَ إِلَيَّ أَنَّهُ اسْتَمَعَ نَفَرٌ مِّنَ الْجِنِّ فَقَالُوا إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا قُرْآنًا عَجَبًا Say, O Muhammad, it was revealed, it has been revealed to me that a group of the jinn listened to the Quran and said, Indeed, we have heard an amazing Quran. It guides to the right course, and we have believed in it. And as a result of this, brothers and sisters, they say, and we will never associate with our Lord anyone. Allah has protected his brothers and sisters from ever being altered or changed and has challenged mankind. He has challenged us to come up with something similar to it. But in 1400 years, in 1400 years, no one has come even close to writing a book. They haven't even come close to writing an ayah, a verse that is similar to the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, Indeed, it is we who sent down the Qur'an And it, indeed, we will be its guardian Allah says, brothers and sisters قُلْ لَإِنْ اجْتَمَعَتِ الْإِنْسُ وَالْجِنُّ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَأْتُوا بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لَا يَأْتُونَ بِمِثْلِهِ Say, if mankind and the jinn gathered in order to produce the like of this Qur'an they could not produce the like of it. They could not produce the like of it. Even if they were to help one another in it. It was reported by Muslim on the authority of Umar ibn Khattab who said, the Prophet said, by this book, Allah will exalt some people and degrade other people. Because of these immense rewards of the Book of Allah, brothers and sisters, we have been commanded not only to read it frequently, but to ponder in its tafsir, to ponder in its meanings, and to act upon its ahkam, to act upon its rulings in our daily lives. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Indeed, those who recite the Book of Allah and establish prayer, and spending his scores out of what we have provided for them secretly and, op and openly and publicly can expect tijaratan they can expect a prophet that will never perish that is a true prophet brothers and sisters in this dunya a prophet that will never perish that he may give them in full their rewards and increase of them of his bounty indeed he is forgiving and appreciative the Prophet ﷺ said, or has informed us, brothers and sisters, about the reward of reading the Qur'an. 
It was narrated by Muhammad ibn Ka'b al Qurazi saying, I heard Abdullah ibn Mas'ud anhu say that the Prophet sallallahu said, whoever recites a letter from Allah's book, a letter, not a word, but a letter from Allah's book, he received the reward from it and the reward of 10 times the length of it. And for every letter that you read, you get 10 hasana, 10 rewards. I do not say that alif, lam, mean is a letter. No, but alif is a letter. Lam is a letter, mean is a letter. Yani, if you read alif, lam, mean, you get 30 hasana, just in that. Imagine reading a surah. Imagine having completed the Quran during the month of Ramadan, inshallah. It was narrated in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim on the authority of Aisha radiallahu anha that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and this is an encouragement, brothers and sisters. For the Arabs amongst you that are not proficient in reading Quran. For some of you, it is difficult, even though it is your mother tongue, to read Quran. But it is even further encouragement for those who are non Arabs and find it difficult in reading the Quran. They tell me, Shaykh, Jazakumullah khayran. You have encouraged us to read the Quran, but I am a non native Arab speaker and I find difficulty in reading it. Listen to this hadith, brothers and sisters, and take from it encouragement, and then look at the reward for those who find it difficult to read the Quran. The Prophet ﷺ said, one who is proficient in the Quran, and is proficient in reading it, is associated with the noble, upright, recording angel. And he who falters in it, and he who finds difficulty in it, will have double the reward. So even if the person that you see next to you, he's blasting out those ayat, mashallah, tabarakallah, and you're going, alif, mean, you know, you're finding it difficult, know that your reward is double the reward of the person next to you. In the day, judgment, brothers and sisters, the rewards of reading the Quran during your time in dunya become evident. As the Quran will intercede in your behalf, and will raise you to a level in paradise dependent only on how much you read it in dunya. It was reported in Sahih Muslim on the authority of, 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 of Abu Umama radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him, who reported Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as saying, read the Quran, for it will come as an intercessor for you, or an intercessor for the reciters in the day of judgment. Furthermore, brothers and sisters, and I'll end with this. It was narrated by Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Aus, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, one who was devoted to the Quran will be told to recite, ascend and recite carefully. This is in the Day of Judgment. As ascend and recite carefully, and as you recited in, you know, in dunya, when you're in this world, you used to recite Quran, in your Qiyam, you will be told to recite again. But guess what? For he will reach his abode when he comes to the last verse he recites. And the more you can recite Quran, the higher your level is going to be in Jannah. Insha'Allah ta'ala, if Allah gives us the life and the work, you know, and the health will carry on with the second part of this khutbah and encourage each other with the reading of the Qur'an and acting upon his ahkam, you know, especially as the month of Ramadan, you know, comes, comes you know, before us. ثُمَّ صَلُّ وَسَلِّمُ عَلَى رَحْمَةِ الْمُحْدَةِ وَنِعْمَةِ الْمُسْدَةِ نَبِيُّكُمْ مُحَمَّدٍ وَرَسُولِ اللَّهِ فَقَدْ أَمْرَكُمْ بِذَلِكَ رَبُّكُمْ فَقَلَّ عَزَّ قَائِلَ الْعَلِيمَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على عبدك ورسولك نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأزواجه وذريته وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الرشيدين الأربع أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وانسان الصحابة أجمعين والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان من يوم الدين وعنا معهم بعرفك وجودك وإحسانك يا أكرم الأكرمين 
اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل شرك والمشركين واحرم حوزة الدين وانصر عبادك المؤمنين اللهم انصر دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعبادك الصالحين اللهم أبرم أمة الإسلام أمن الرشد يعز فيه أهم طاعة ويهدى فيه أهم معصية ويمر فيه المعروف وينهى فيه عن المنكر إنك على كل شيء قدير وقم الصلاة إن صلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر